so good morning students so in this class we're going to discuss about uh, will arrangement or in other word will and excel arrangement under a steam locomotive or diesel or even electrical locomotive fine So wheel and axle arrangement and coning of wheels. So regarding coning of wheels, we're going to discuss in the next class. Okay, even I already told you in the uh, previous class that uh, train wheels are in or are of in conical shape. Okay, when you see in a cross-sectional view of a railway track, you can see the conical shape of a wheel. And why these conical wheels are provided? Uh, we're going to we're going to discuss about this in next class okay so in this in this class we're going to discuss about wheel and axle arrangement okay so basically wheel and axles are fitted under a locomotive okay and basically it is used for holding holding of the passenger and freight that means to pull the whole train along with the woogie it required wheel and excel arrangement fine and if you go in the history uh, a steam uh, the locomotive is classified under three different categories okay and uh, history it was initially used uh, as a steam locomotive okay we have been using a steam locomotive in previous time or ancient time you can say after that it was this uh, replaced by the diesel locomotive and finally we are using electrical mo locomotive okay even nearby the uh, edu campus uh, there is a railway track and if you observe carefully there is a modification or improvement work is going on that actually there are um, developing the railway track by additional facility of electrification that means and very um, within a gear you can see are very so very less time electrical uh, train will be will be uh, running through the railway track okay so in Guati it is under developing stage okay so it is nowadays it is uh, uh, widely used the electrical locomotive okay uh, it is it will replace the diesel locomotive fine so in the case of steam engine if you say if i tell you about steam engine the wheels and axle are classified on the basis of weight system okay so basically there are two system of classifying the locomotive wheel or axle arrangement okay so the wheel arrangement is basically also it is also known as wheel configuration so it is a system of it is a system of classifying classifying the way in which wheels are distributed under a locomotive okay that means the distribution of wheels or you can say distribution of axle under a locomotive is uh, described by this wheel arrangement you can also find out in when in your google okay so several types of locomotive exist till now starting from steam engine okay because here here also you can see here you can see steam locomotive fine next electrical locomotive and diesel powered locomotive okay okay so basically the classification is done by two approaches. One is your weight notation. Okay. And basically it is done for steam engine, steam locomotive. And it was uh, devised by or proposed by Frederick Met Van White. Okay. He was a mechanical engineer from Dutch. Okay. 
and this AAR wheel arrangement. The second approach is your AAR wheel arrangement. AAR means Association of American Railroad. And basically, this approach was used in North America and it was used for diesel and electrical locomotive. Okay. And it was developed by your Association of American Railroad, that is AAR wheel arrangement. And basic difference between the width notation and AAR wheel arrangement is that uh, under weight notation, the wheel arrangement or the wheel configuration is done based on the counting of wheels. In other hand, under AAR wheel arrangement, the configuration, wheel -like configuration is based on counting either the axles or the boobies, basically the axle. Fine. So, in the case of wheel arrangement classification, wheel arrangement classification. They are classified on the basis of weight system. Okay. And even in India, the Indian practice has been taken from the United Kingdom because the British were the person who introduced the Indian railway in our country. And in the system, we count wheels and we do not count axle as far as steam locomotives are concerned. That means even in India, we follow the this system we follow weight system of uh, classification or wheel configuration system clear now we are going to discuss about weight arrangement okay so i already told you the under weight weight system or weight uh, notation system the configuration is done by counting wheels now basically there are if you consider steam engine, there are three types of wheels under a locomotive engine. Okay, one is your um, here you can see. I will give you a close. Okay, here. Yeah. Now we'll discuss about weight notation. Okay, so we are going to discuss about weight notation, fine. So weight notation is a classification method for steam locomotive and some internal combustion locomotive and even electric locomotives by wheel arrangement. And it was uh, uh, devised by your uh, Frederick Matthew uh, Madvan White, okay. And he was a mechanical engineer from Dutch background. He worked for a New York Central in the uh, United States, fine. And he was the person who developed the white notation. Okay, in 19th century. Okay, so let's discuss about the basic of this particular notation. So the notation in its basic form count the number of wheels. So I told you that there are three category of wheels under a steam locomotive or even the electrical locomo locomotive. So there are three type of or three category of locomotive first one your leading wheels second one your driving wheels and another one is your training wheels leading wheel driving wheel and trailing wheels okay that means you need to count how many numbers of leading wheels are there how many numbers of driving wheels are there and how many numbers of trailing wheels are present okay and they are separated by a dash okay that means this is an example you can see. I will I will going to explain this term also. Okay. Anyway, before explaining this notation, let's discuss about um, leading wheel, driving wheels, and trailing wheels first. So let's discuss your leading wheel. So what is leading wheel? Even here you can see in the drawing. I'll show you here. Even in this drawing, it's showing us steam engines or steam locomotive. Okay, there are three category of uh, wheels you can see this is the first category middle middle one the second category and the third one okay a smaller one and a front 
wheels are known as leading wheel okay it is highlighted here the leading wheel or you can say attached with a leading axle or also known as pilot wheel of a steam locomotive is an unpowered wheel located in the front of the driving wheel the axle of the leading wheels are normally located on the leading truck okay and basically it is used to give the direction it provides direction of the whole rail a whole train okay it it's help in provide the direction leading wheel and leading wheels are unpowered wheel okay so also there are two category of wheels one is your powered wheel and another one is your in unpowered wheel okay so basically if you consider in a steam engine so this steam engine or steam locomotives are worked under steam pressure okay or pressure uh, uh, exerted by a steam so because of the steam pressure the piston fitted inside the steam locomotive the, the piston move in a certain way and that this lever arm you can see this lever arm which is attached to that mid bigger size wheel okay because of the movement of the piston this lever arm also moves in a particular direction and because of the movement of this this lever arm the wheels which are attached to that lever arm they also move along with the piston okay let me it is indirectly uh, uh, you know exerted by the steam pressure steam pressure moves the piston piston moves the lever arm and this lever arm move the wheel okay that's why these wheels are known as driving wheel because or you can say powered wheel because powers are directly exerted on this wheel but the front wheel and the trailing wheels are unpowered wheel you can see the lever arm is not connected with the trailing part or the, or not even the with the front part that's why uh, you can say the uh, driving wheels are powered wheel and other two type of are your unpowered wheel okay so we can say that leading wheels are unpowered wheel since lever arm is not attached with particular leading wheel they are only used to give the direction okay so leading wheels are used to help the locomotive negotiates curves and to support the front portion of the boiler okay there is a boiler also okay this is the boiler okay so that's why leading wheels are classified like that understood next we'll discuss about the driving wheel we already discussed here but still anyway here you can see in a kind of a same uh, steam engine or steam locomotive the mid uh, larger size diameter wheels which are connected with the lever arm of the piston connected with the steam engine they are known as driving wheels on a steam locomotive the driving wheels is a powered wheel which drive by the locomotive piston or the turbine which is fitted inside the steam engine okay this thing already we have discussed right and next third type of uh, wheels are known as trailing wheel so here you can see it is highlighted here at the bottom part or trailing part the trailing wheels or trailing else excel generally an unpowered wheel okay so even along with the front wheel or leading wheel trailing wheels are also unpowered wheel since they are not connected with the lever arm and they are located behind the driving wheels okay and the axle of the trailing wheel is usually located in the trailing truck okay you can see this part you can say from this part trailing uh, truck is attached here okay and the beginning of the truck are the and at the end of the engine or at the end of the locomotive the trailing wheels are fitted okay but it is not necessarily uh, that you have to fit that trailing part or leading part okay depending on the different type of locomotive engine in some engine all this category or category of wheels are present in some engine only two category are present okay it may be con included leading wheel or sometimes it's only concluded driving wheels and trailing wheels like that. okay different combinations of wheels are provided based on the holding capacity or drag or pulling capacity of the 
um, locomotive. Clear? So basically, we are discussing about wheel arrangement and especially we are discussing about white rotation. Okay? Wait. Okay, so basically, uh, we're, I'm going to repeat the same se sentence here. The notation in the width, white uh, notation in its basic form counts the number of leading wheel, then the number of driving wheels, and finally the number of training wheels. Okay, and the numbers being separated by a dash in this form. You can see in this form. Okay. So even in India, Indian practice has been taken from the Indian United Kingdom, okay, since British were the person who introduced the Indian Railway in our country. And in this system, we count wheels, where and we do not count the axle, okay. That means we follow the width system, okay, we, we don't follow the AAR system, okay. In under AAR system, under AAR system, uh, we count axle, okay. Now, let's take example of 242. Okay, if a particular locomotive uh, classified as 242, now what does that mean? So, under white notation, it was suppose a particular locomotive, steam in locomotive or electrical lo locomotive uh, is classified as 242, which is separated by a dash. So, that means this front two is represents the leading wheel. This middle one, that four, represents your driving wheel or powered wheel and the last two it represents your trailing wheel okay that means that two the first two is the front wheel or you can say two numbers of wheel have been placed okay or you can say the one axle is being used in front part Okay, and the second part that is your fourth middle part, the fourth part is, is is basically the four numbers of wheels which are being placed in the central condition where they are powered wheels, okay, or driving wheels, and we can say therefore they transform into two axle condition. And okay, two axle condition means since there are four wheels, that means uh, for each pair of wheels there are one axle. That means we can say since they are given four wheels, that means there are two axle. That means two powered axle. Clear? The last, the uh, third one. Okay. And the third one. There are trailing wheels, the two axle condition, and represent they are they have two wheels at the back, and again it is transformed them into the axle condition. It will be working as one axle. That means here you can see two wheels as a leading wheel under one axle, four wheel under power wheel or driving wheel under two axle, two power axle, and two wheel mean two. Trailing wheel fitted at the you know trailing part fitted with one axle, unpowered axle. Okay, so like this classification is done under white notation system or configuration system. So I'll give you some, I'll show you some example based on that also. Here you can see some uh, drawing here is given here along with the weight notation. So for different type of uh, steam locomotive or different locomotive uh, de depending on the wheel arrangement. Okay, notation is provided here. Even from the notation you can 
classify the arrangement wheel arrangement under the locomotive okay that means the first notation is given as 0 4 2 that means if the front one is represents for leading wheel second middle one is represent for powered wheel or driving wheel and the third one is represents your trailing wheel okay since it is given as a zero that means there is no leading wheel here you can see there is no leading wheel attached with the locomotive uh, the middle one is your four four means your four wheels are uh, attached or act as a driving wheel or, driving wheel or powered wheel that means uh, from the uh, side view we can see only two wheels two wheels from this side two wheels from opposite side and total four wheels as used as a driving wheel and they are connected by two axle okay two power axle so as a whole this is your driving wheel and you can see here it is written two that means two axle are used as a trailing wheel here you can see one wheel you can see here one another one is here one another one is from that opposite sign and connected by one unpowered axle okay even in the second drawing you can see only from the drawing itself you can see only two um, circle you can see two wheels are provided here so in this particular uh, engine the no you, you, you are you are seeing no uh, leading wheel and no trailing wheel only driving wheels are provided that means two you can see two driving wheels that means two from this side two from another side that means four so the notation will be zero dash four dash zero okay so like this you can identify different uh, type of engine based on wheel arrangement okay you just go through this part by yourself clear so for now this is all about your white annotation so along with this white notation uh, there are an another one is there that is your uh, where it is wait there is AAR wheel arrangement okay so we're going to discuss about this also a little bit not so much is needed some part is basically needed so AAR wheel arrangement basically it is uh, proposed or developed by Association of American Railroad and it was basically used in uh, it was used in North America to you know describe diesel and electrical locomotives clear it is not used for steam locomotive okay and for steam locomotive you know this white notation is used even for some electrical locomotive also white notations was used so i'll give you some uh, overview of aar wheel arrangement so i i have already told you under aar wheel arrangement we do not count the wheel we count the axle and we can classify the axle under two head one is your powered axle another one is your unpowered axle okay So AAR wheel arrangement system is a method of classifying locomotive or wheel arrangement which was developed by American uh, Association of American Railroads okay and was widely used in North America described to describe diesel and electrical locomotive fine and this AAR system count excel instead of wheels it is very important term and it is some example you can see some example this is represent different uh, locomotive this is this this one represent different locomotive so basically this is a combination of letter and number okay now letter like a b c d like that letter represents power excel okay and number like one two three this number represents your unpowered excel okay now the letter a it represents what letter a represents one power excel b represents two power excel c represents three power excel and so on like d represents four power excel that means if you see a if you see if you take the example of this one one a dash a one this a represents excel first uh, power excel but a represents your one power excel it means only one power excel is here at us here here also one power excel at us here okay now b represents your two power excel d represents four power excel c represents three, three power excel like that and the number one two three they represent what your unpowered excel 
attached with your leading or trailing wheels. So one represents represents what? That means there are one unpowered axle. Two represents there are uh, two unpowered axle like that. Okay. And a dash is used to separate a truck. Okay. Dash is used to separate the truck. And the plus symbol refer the articulation that means either the connecting the boogie with the spun booster or by connecting individual locomotive okay so we don't need too much from this part AAR only basic things are needed okay so basically you have to understand the AAR system basic basic behind the AR system and the white system of wheel and accelerancement under a locomotive okay so this is all about uh, today class Fine. Uh, we have discussed about different uh, classification, basically white arrangement and AAR rotation, which is used to classify a locomotive based on wheel and accelerancement. Clear? So I hope you have got this. Uh, you have understand these things. Clear? So I, with this, I just want to close my sharing. Okay. And I also want to stop my recording here, okay?